Adventures of Jungle Jim. The Adventures of Jungle Jim broadcast weekly over this station are dramatized from the full-color action pictures to be found in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest comic supplement that comes to you each week with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Join the 11 million adults and 6 million youngsters who make their weekends more enjoyable reading the world's greatest comic and adventure pictures by the world's best artists featured in every issue of the Comic Weekly. Insist on the Sunday newspaper that brings you the Comic Weekly. On the first night of his return to Singapore, Jungle Jim receives a visit from a desperate, distracted young American planter named Harvey Stacy. He tells Jungle Jim a weird story of how his young wife has developed a strange madness. Stacy's uncle, a wealthy rubber planter, dies, leaving his nephew the plantations in Malaya. After graduating from college in the States, Stacy brings his young wife out to Malaya. At first, they were very happy in their new home. But as time went on, she became very nervous and despondent. She ate very little, and her health began to fail. She hated to have young Stacy leave her to go on trips up the river. Upon his return from one of the trips, he finds her standing in the garden, fascinated by the rhythm of the native drum. Sensing her nerves and mind might give way, young Stacy decides to take his young wife back to the States. But his decision comes too late. For the same night, Stacy is awakened by his wife's native servant, who tells him his wife has disappeared. They find her on the edge of the jungle, chanting and swaying to the savage rhythm of the distant drum. Now Stacy continues his story. Are you sure you're feeling all right, Stacy? I think it would be better if you took a nap for an hour or so. No, no, Mr. Bradley, I've got to finish my story. There's no time to lose. I, I'm all right. I've got to keep going. All right, fella, go ahead, but uh, try to ease up a little. Your nerves can only stand so much, you know. Well, when I found my wife swaying to the rhythm of the distant drums, I knew she had, as they say, gone native. I spoke to her gently. Louise. Louise, darling, it's me, Harvey. I've come to take you home. Louise. Louise! Louise! I... I hear you. I hear you. I hear you now. Oh. Oh. Oh, me. Oh, me. All right now, darling. You're all right now. Here. Here, put your arm around my neck. Yes, that's it. Now I'll, I'll lift you up and carry you home. Find her, Master Stacy. Mrs. Stacy, very sick. Moko, get the motorboat ready. I, I've got to go down the river for the doctor. Yes, Fill up with gasoline and put several extra cans aboard. Check the oil, make everything ready. Very good, Master Stacy. I go quick. Six more. Noy, you hurry back to the house. Get Mr. Stacy's bed ready. Oh, oh, hold me close, Harvey. I'm afraid. Afraid. Don't let me go. I've got you, dear. Now, there's nothing to worry about. Now, here we are at the house. I'll carry you in and put you to bed. Now, you're going to be all right, dear. Oh, don't leave me, dear. Don't leave me, ever. I won't, darling. Here we are, safe and sound in the house. Bed ready, Master Stacy. Good. Now, get some fresh drinking water and bring me my medicine kit. Hurry. What? What happened? What happened to me, Harvey? You're not well, darling. You have a fever. But the doctor will be here soon. We'll soon have you all right again. Now, in the bed and I'll cover you up. There. There now. You'll soon be comfortable again. I'm going to give you something to make you sleep until the doctor gets here. Here's water, Master Stacy. Medicine bag. Good. Now, pour out a glass of water. I'll get a sleeping powder ready. That's enough. Now, give me a spoon to stir this. Now, darling, try to sit up just for a minute. I'll, here, I'll put my arm around your back. There we are. There, that's fine. Now, you drink this down quickly. Drink it all. That's it. <laughs> Now lie back and you'll be all right. Oh, don't. Don't leave me, Harvey. Don't leave me, please. 
You mustn't go away. I need I you. I won't go away, darling. <laughs> but I've got to tell Nori something. I, I'll be right outside the door. Nori, you come with me. Yes, Master Stacy. Now, Nori, I've got to go down the river to get the doctor. Mrs. Stacy will soon be fast asleep. I've given her a sleeping powder. But while I'm gone, I want you to stay right in that room with her. Keep her in bed. Don't leave her or let her get up. Do you understand? Nori, savvy, Master Stacy. Nori, stay close by bed. Not leave till you come back. That's right, and be sure you do. If anything happens to her, I'll hold you. How far did you have to go to get the doctor, Stacy? Well, it was a good 12 hours downstream with a current by motorboat. I found the doctor, hustled him into the boat, and started back. The journey back was somewhat slower, but even against the fast current opening the motor wide, I was back the following night. We rushed up to the house and... <sighs> I hope she's all right, Harvey. Don't mind telling you I don't feel so good myself after that trip. I'm getting a little too old for expeditions like this. I'm sorry I had to rush you so, Doctor, but it's serious. Uh, this is her room right here. Uh, quietly now. She may be asleep. Yes. Doctor? Huh? Doctor, she's not here. She's gone again. What? Louise. Louise. Louise, dear, where are you? Where's that Nori? I'll thrash her. Nori! Nori! Uh, uh, here, here. Uh, let's look around, Stacy. Take that side, and I look around All these right. rooms here. Louise! Louise! Maureen! Louise, where are you? Uh, she's gone. Uh, not a sign of anyone. My wife, she's gone. That blasted witch, Nori, wait till I find her. Now hold hard, Stacy. Let's go over to the compound and rouse out some of those native boys. Perhaps they can tell us something. All right, come on, follow me, Doctor. my wife. Where's Lori? In house, Master Stacy. Moku watch all last night. Watch close all day. Then tonight, Moku watch. Make sure Mrs. Stacy fast sleep. Tell Nari keep good watch. Then Moku go to compound. Fall sleep. Confound your lazy hides. I'll whip all of you for this. Now, drag out all those boys. We've got to find Mrs. Stacy. Hurry, get those boys out and start searching. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The rain that fell this evening has left the ground rather soft. Shouldn't be hard to track her, Stacy. If your man Moko is telling the truth, they haven't got much of a start. They can't travel fast in the jungle. They can probably overtake your wife and a servant if they've wandered off. Hurry, Moko, hurry! Rout out those boys and let's get going. There's no time to lose. Way, hurry. Your boys have picked up the track. Coming, yeah. Doctor. Set them off following their trail. I'll catch up with you. Right on. Run ahead, Moko. Follow the trail and push those boys fast. Very good, Master Stacy. Very good. Where do those tracks go, Doctor? Uh, off there into the jungle. Look down here. Yes? Those are your wife's footprints. Yes, yes. And she back here? Those are a native maid, no hurry. That's strange. It appears your wife was leading. No hurry was following her. Yes, sir. Are there any other tracks besides those of my wife and the servant? No, none, Stacy. But the change is part of it. Just the two sets of footprints. And your wife's in the lead. Now it is following hers. Mighty funny, Stacy. Well, Stacy, um, how long did you have to follow those tracks? Well, we tracked them deep into the jungle. And there were no other tracks but those of your wife and the native woman's? No, Mr. Bradley. Just those two pair of tracks, no others. And as I was saying, we followed the tracks deep into the jungle, and finally we came to a clearing beside a river. And there, the native told us. Boko! Boko, what is it now? Trail to end at river, Master Stacy. Boys, look. See no more tracks. End at river. Then... 
Aruna find hole in bank. Native canoe hide there. Tracks show it drag to river. Uh, that sounds serious, Stacy. Must have been a native waiting for them here. Had a canoe hidden. Must have got into the canoe with him and either went up or down the river. Yes, but that's ridiculous, Doctor. Louise wouldn't have stepped into that canoe and been spirited away without a struggle. I'm not so sure of that, Stacy. As a matter of fact, the tracks show one important clue. I've been watching the tracks rather carefully. No time has the trail shown any sign of struggle whatever. Always your wife's tracks precede those of her native servants. What does that mean? What are you driving at, Doctor? Just this, Stacy. Please bear with me, for it's the truth. Your wife apparently was making this journey willingly. Gladly. No, Doctor. Good heavens, man, do you know what you're saying? I'm sorry, Stacy, but what else is there to say? If your wife had stopped on the trail and resisted the strange power that was drawing her on, we would have found evidence of it. But Nori, she's the cause of it all. No, oh, no, 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 Stacy. The tracks show that Nori was always several places behind your wife, as I explained before. That proves your wife was leading the way. And as I have said, there are no signs whatever of a struggle. It's apparent that whatever she was going, she was going willingly. In fact, Naori had difficulty in keeping up with her. Moko. Yes, sir. You take one of the boys back with you. Fill up my motorboat with gas and oil and then bring it up to the river. Uh, right no, to us hold, here. Hold on, Stacy. That isn't going to do us any good. Can't very well follow them in the motorboat. Why not? They've only got a canoe. True enough. And how do we know which way they went? Up or down the river? <laughs> What is the answer to this strange riddle of Stacy's wife? Has she really gone native, lured into the jungle by some unseen power? What are the next developments in the story that young Stacy is telling Jungle Jim? Don't miss the next exciting episode in the adventures of Jungle Jim. Remember, you can follow these adventures in the full-color action pictures which appear in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest comic supplement containing the best full-color adventure and comic pictures. Remember... No other comic supplement can give you the top names of cartoon land, like the list of all-star favorites to be found in the Comic Weekly. The whole family follow the fun and frolics of Popeye the Sailor, Tilly the Toiler, Barney Google and the Little King, the impish antics of Skippy, the Katzenyama Kids, the immortal Mickey Mouse, as well as the exciting adventures of Flash Gordon and Jungle Jim. Join the 11 million adults and 6 million youngsters who every week find the greatest of home entertainment in the Comic Weekly, which comes to you with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. More thrilling radio adventures of Jungle Jim will be heard at this same time next week over this same station. Be sure to tune in. <laughs>